Wow, queen, here we are on another gorgeous morning where you get to thrive. Let's bring in the positivity and let go of the rest. What a gorgeous day. How'd you get there? Hey everyone, it's me, Jonathan Van Ness. Thanks for waking up with me. We find ourselves in a gorgeous New York City, like a look at this view. We're talking skincare, we're talking SPF, we're talking life. I mean, if life is an SPF in skincare in New York City, I don't know what life is, but we gotta go, I'm gonna be late. Ah, bye. One thing I always start my day off with, well, for the last like 28 days that is, I meditate. Like you inhale a mantra and you exhale a mantra. So when I breathe in, I'll like focus on like breathing in patience. And like when I exhale, I will focus on like exhaling love to like envision myself like in a little like bubble of like loving like white light energy. And I know it's really like, but it helps. It sets my mind up right. Inhale patience, exhale love. And you really just do that for like six gorgeous minutes. Well, I do six minutes because like, you know, it's a practice. If you're feeling particularly scattered, you can rest your palms face down because it's grounding. Or if you're really tired and you like need to be open to some like positive energy, you go palms up. So palms up to be receptive to energy, palms down to like calm yourself down. But also, Here's the thing about meditation and those gorgeous sirens in the background. Part of meditation in yoga is this action called pratihara, focusing on something in spite of the distractions in your life. And that's actually like the point of meditation. And that's really like the point of taking your meditative or yoga practice like off the mat and into the world. So let the siren go off, queen. Let the phone ring. You are like focusing on your breath and actually like, what siren? I'm focusing on my breath, you know? Coffee, check. Now it's time for a shower and you gotta go. You know, privacy is great. We love boundaries. Tan taught me that. So, bye. Ah, what a gorgeous shower that was. I love to just do a little bit of this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. She's very gorge. Then I'm going to come in with my Biosense Squalene Marine Algae Eye Cream, which we love. Apply on my under eye on the little bone and then above. I'm gonna let it sit there. Then I come in with my Biosense Squalene Vito Retinol Serum. Put it straight on my face and I rub that in everywhere. Bring that down onto your neck and around your collarbones. I like to layer the Squalene Peptide Eye Gel because I feel like she's more of like my hydration station and she's more of my like de-plump I really do like to use both, especially if I'm gonna put on makeup, because it just really like tells those bags to like calm down. It's like, I love you, but I just need you to sit down for the day. You've been working so hard. Then I take my gorgeous Peter Thomas Roth eye patches. It's gonna help to drive the ingredients that I just put on with these like deeper into the skin. Come here, eye patch. I feel like Adam Sandler and he can't get the ball to go in the home. That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Yes, bless. Okay. I take my hair out. Now, this product is amazing by Orbe. It's foundation prep mist. I'm gonna spray the brush with it and I'm just gonna give my hairline a little bit of that love. I'm gonna use these clips to put my hair into place. And this just helps my hair dry without frizz and not needing to use heat. And then you can't see where the clip was because of this cool thing. It like doesn't dent your hair. Then to rehydrate my hair, I take a little bit of Orbe Foundation Prep Mist and I spray it into my hand. And Biosense Squalene Oil. And put it on my ends. And I'm gonna do a braid. And I love braids because they help set your hair with a little bit of a wave and it lets me not have to put so much heat on my hair. I like to braid my hair like where it's gonna sit. 
So don't breathe like away from your body. No. Yes. 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 Now that my hair is setting, which we love, I'm going to take these little baby eye patches because they've been sitting for some time and I'm going to take them off. Press in any remaining eye stuff. Also, you want to do gentle tappies with your eyes because this is the most sensitive skin on your face. So gentle, gentle, gentle. Then I'm going to make a little baby homemade concoction that I'm obsessed with. Well, it's not homemade. It's kind of like that lady on the food channel that does like some homemade stuff with the store-bought stuff, except for this is all store-bought stuff, but I'm mixing different companies, which I think is fun. The first one is our gorgeous Biosense Squalane Omega Repair Cream. I love this product so much. If I'm not gonna go be on camera or like at nighttime, I would just use this alone. But since I'm gonna be on camera right now, I'm gonna do my camera thing. Once I have my little mini lake of squalane plus omega repair cream, I'm gonna come in with my Algenist Reveal Color Correcting Radiant Primer, which I love. Cause really the omega repair cream was a little bit lonesome. And so I wanted them to have a friend. So now they're friends. And then I was feeling like they were really lonesome. So I put in just a little bit of concealer. So then the concealer just lives right there. And then they were like, honestly, Jonathan, we could even use one more friend, our really good friend SPF. Instead of absorbing the radiation into your skin and like bouncing it around in there, mineral sunscreen just like reflects it completely. So your skin's just like, by radiation, you're not my friend, I don't need you anyway, I never did. Chemical sunscreen kind of, I feel like she keeps it too close. You know, boundaries. I take all my four best friends, you know, it's almost like Moulin Rouge Lady Marmalade, and you know, I just take them all together and I'm gonna mix them up into a gorgeous little new mixture. Now my makeup artist friend does this in a little like paint mixing easel, which is probably better because I am aware that I'm giving, you know, this part of my hand a great at home BB treatment. You know, I could invest in that, but I'm busy. Ugh. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply everywhere. Gotta get our ears. Those ears are exposed to sun. We always really want to protect this part of our skin. She is like the first thing that will start to really tell you how many, you know, moons we've seen. Upward motions on our neck, not heavy and down because gravity is heavy enough anyway. You know, it's just upward gentle. Now, I'm gonna come in with my Gorgeous Cover FX Concealer by itself. What I do is I just kind of treat my face like with area rugs versus carpets, right? I wanna see my freckles, I wanna see my skin texture. So I really only put the concealer where I feel like I, I absolutely need it. And I distribute the product kind of right on my under eyes. It's eyes, right? And then you wanna like blend it out into nothing. So, I just take my fingers, I'm just pressing. And if you're wondering who this is, this is Bette Midler in First Wives Club when she dresses up in disguise to go to the auction. And this is Goldie Hawn. Just someone very, very glamorous. Probably Euro trash. Now, I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of that concealer that's left on my fingers, and I'm gonna take it on my upper eye area because I do feel like she's a little bit giving me too much veins. <laughs> okay, honestly, like I can't believe how beautiful I look. I, I see myself every morning, but I am continually shocked, which is a great place to be in. Here's one more thing. I swam into this coral reef in um, Hawaii and it scarred the shit out of my face there last year. So sometimes I gotta just put a little bit more concealer there too. Ugh. Minding my own business trying to be aerial in the ocean and I swam into a coral reef. Like who does that? Blend. Sometimes I get too excited with the amount of concealer that I put there. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of our gorgeous Biosense Rose Vegan Lip Balm and I'm gonna take it on my lip. Then, I take it for my brow. Best kept secret for brow gel, honey. Cause I want huge, gigantic, old person, reckless abandoned eyebrows. Like the bigger, the better. I honestly want the top of my eyebrows to come up to my hair. Like I just want huge eyebrows. Every makeup artist I work with is like, please let me trim them. I'm like, get away from my eyebrows. They're huge and I want them gigantic. Uh, I love that trick. This brow gel is next level. Oh, do you see how long that brown hair was? Oh. Such a good long one. Look at these brow hairs. They're next level. Look at that. Gotta make a wish. Your 
two on there. Okay. <laughs> Ways not what not queens. Take the excess lip balm, rub it on those cuticles. They're thirsty. Okay, they're begging for you to moisturize them. And then I'm done. Cause this has to dry a little bit more and then I just take it out right before I leave and I'm not leaving right now. So get away from me, I gotta go. Uh, uh. Thanks for waking up with me, gorgeous Elle. You know, this is my final look. It's incredible if I do say so myself. You know, I gotta go enjoy this gorgeous day in the city. So subscribe to Elle for more gorgeous content and really just thrive, queens. You know what I'm saying? Uh, bye.